morning with so many, so many long-time friends. I won't say old, but long-time friends. Yes. All of you who have joined this wondrous process this year. The high school, the college students, the newly young who have risen up. <laughs> yes. Yes. Newly young. to the cafeteria crowd, to the hallway crowd, to everyone who is here today. It is a new opportunity. And to Jen Johnson, to Jen Johnson, that evokes the hope, the spirit, the dreams of a new tomorrow. But new tomorrows. And change and opportunity for something better. Let me salute the time of hand and Mayor Henrici, Joe McDonough for welcoming everyone here for the welcome. Then, Nancy DiNardo, who revitalized our Democrat. Yeah. 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 And he's had the great moment called battle every day for our state. delegation today. I said this out in Denver when I addressed uh, the breakfast uh, on the, the last Thursday we were there. There is a special bond, a special bond, and a unique bond with this delegation. And this is not something that is common in the United States Congress. We care about one another. We make sure that each other, when they're putting forth legislation, not as Chris Dodd told me, stealing it out of people's pockets as they walk to the floor, but helping them to succeed in this institution, not for self-aggrandizement, but for good public policy. And I will just tell you that we are going to be joined by Jim Collins. Going to help make that. I'll say one quick thing, which I wasn't going to say, but I will. It is Jim's opponent who just yesterday said, when asked about Sarah Palin being on the ticket with John McCain, how that would fly in Connecticut. And he said that Connecticut voters will be happy just because there is a woman on the ticket. to put the middle class front and center. And we will put labor 
It does mean equal pay for equal work, making health care affordable, restoring our place in the world, ending the Iraq War. Yeah. 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 And making America energy independent. That hope went into the United States and Joe Biden, the Vice President. But have no illusions. It is going to be a tough yeah. battle. Republicans will do everything that they can to hold on to power. So, we are going to organize. Yes. We are going to work with energy, with imagination, and with boldness in the 60 days. We are going to put the other side on the defense nation to the real price of a third Bush term. presidency would really look like for our children and for our families. And we're going to seize that moment of that last night in Denver at Invesco Field. Bringing people together, giving them purpose, and we're going to work the phones, we're going to knock on the doors, we're going to help with the mailings, and we are going to bring real change to this country. The sign-up sheets are out there. The Hilltop Brigade is here today. Take advantage of the opportunity to allow. Add your name to a list today. Make a commitment to get out there and make a difference. The change that some 80,000 people cheered in Denver on that last night began with millions of individual acts of courage. Let us continue in these 60 days those individual acts of courage. Let us make opportunity real once more in this nation. Let people understand that they have an ally not an adversary in government, and that we can forge public policy once again, as we have historically in this nation, to change people's lives for the better, to make them economically secure, to make their families economically secure. Let's make history in November. with you in these next 60 days, and so, my friends, will be our next speaker, our Senator Chris Dobbs. <laughs> John was out there with Chris uh, in Iowa, as were Courtney and Murphy and so many others on this stage myself included, but let me just tell you, he raised issues in this campaign that touched all of us. He stood up for our Constitution, and he stood up to President Bush, and he said, no, no to war And with that kind of a spirit, what he did, he refused to back down with the housing market in such a crisis. It was his leadership. It was his leadership. Take pride in that, my friends. That leadership paid off in landmark legislation to strengthen our economy, to help more families keep their homes and realize the American dream. He and his wife, Jackie, his two daughters, Grace and Christina, they are our family. They are Connecticut. And it is rare, it is rare to find anyone authentic as Chris Dodd. I am so glad that the people of this nation have had an opportunity to meet They learned what Connecticut families have known for decades. On issue after issue, 
she sets that standard for leadership. Please welcome our senator, Connecticut Senator, Connecticut Scholar.